Okay, so let's go through the vocals real quick here. Uh, so we have, uh, what do I have on this? I have a de -esser and a bit of EQ. And this is mainly because Drew sent me vocals that he already processed. And I didn't want to over-process them. And we had a basic EQ. I adjusted his EQ a little bit by adding mine on top. But hey. Oh, here we go. I met you. I drank too much and that's an issue, but I'm okay. Pretty dry. I'm adding a little bit of um, hey. a doubler on it. You tell your friends it was nice to meet them. This medium delay may have some automation. Yes, it does on the end of the lines. Uh, but I'm okay. So you get that little okay tail there. Uh, and then, yeah, just a very short uh, plate reverb. Uh, so his vocals are relatively simple there. Um, are you doing, do you do all graphic automation or do you use a control service at all? Uh, sometimes I use a, like a control service thing, but for the most part, I just, I'm in my laptop. I'm cool. moving around. I was mixing on the plane ride here. I was mixing the hotel last night. So I like having everything here. Yeah. Sometimes you can't always take, take that with you. find you. it's a little more faster and a little more accurate when you I'm sure I'd, if I had a control, I mean, if I had an icon with me, it would be <laughs> great. But, yeah. Or, or even like a little dock or something like that. Sure. But, for the most part, the, I can travel with this in my backpack, yeah. so I prefer the convenience over saving a couple seconds. Totally. So uh, what else do we have? Same thing, this, this B section for Drew. These are all mostly the same. Uh, and this reverse verb here is just something I made using this track, which is inactive. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's basically all the processing from a, a, a normal vocal track that I have like on Halsey with a delay on it and then I reverse that, I reverse the track, add the, sorry, not delay, reverb, reverse the track first, uh, add the reverb to the reverse track and then I'll print that and then reverse it back and you'll get this reverse vocal thing uh, which, which sounds pretty good. I use that a lot. So you'll hear. So baby, pull me. And that's just, I think, Halsey's vocal that reverses into his. Um, OK, so let's get to Halsey. Uh, I cut her. So there's obviously, you can see a lot of takes. We did a bunch of takes, and all these are, uh, 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 this is a comp vocal. And I went through and see if I can make this bigger here. As you can see, there is uh, a ton of clip gain automation. Every track has a different, or a, every syllable really has a different level. So let's play something. Look as good as the day I met you. I forget just why I left you. I was insane. If I take everything off her uh, vocal, I'll, put, I'll keep the AT on just for that. But there's a little tuning on it and then. You look as good as the day I met you. So that's I just the raw vocal. I why I left you. I was insane. Stay. And play that Blink-182 song that we beat to death in Tucson, okay. So yeah, we have, everything's leveled out here, and then I've got a de on it, just cleaning up some of the insane. S sounds. Let me just go one by one here, I guess. Uh, so insane. cleaning up some of the S's, then I add, Stay. Stay. And play that Blink what do I have? A little bit of 1.5K, a little bit of around 4.5K, 1k and a little bit of uh 5.5 and you know between three and this actually there's seven and a half db of, of gain here a little compression roll off the low end uh it's insane. now we have a nice eq then i'll usually add a second compressor just to really get that vocal in your face especially this vocal the the track is is pretty sparse in the verses so i want that vocal to really be the the main uh thing there it's so insane. i added not much, three and a half dB of, of uh, compression. So just to push that in your face. And then I was saying I use a de sometimes for EQ. So I added another de at the end to just pick up the other things that maybe were added back in by pushing the EQ. Uh, insane. And then I have a vitalizer on it, which is just adding a little bit of brightness. It's insane. You get that nice sparkle on the top of the, the vocal. Look as good as the day I met you. I and then what else? We have a delay throw. So you look as good as the day of match. So that throw is being sent uh, down to uh, <clears throat> an H delay, 
which is a, a dotted quarter note. Uh, and before it hits that, it goes through a spreader. So I want that delay, instead of it being perfectly center, I want it sort of spread apart. Uh, and yeah, that's where you, where you get the little uh, throw moments. You. So. You. You. Look. It'll go there. And then uh, what else is there? Just some automation on the throws, basic stuff. And that is sort of repeated. Those EQs and things are mostly repeated throughout this uh, until we get to the end here. Uh, okay, so here's like a reverb throw that. So you get that big reverb moment. That's just a throw on the reverb, excuse me, uh, that happens one time. But for the most, the rest of the, the, the uh, effects are similar. And let's see, this delay vocal is lots of reverb, lots of effects. And then I. That's the same vocal, but uh, with some automation on the auto-tune. So, or I'm sorry, automation on Alter Boy. Uh, so what that's doing is, I'm, I use Alter Boy a lot. On the new record we're, we're, we're working on now, uh, there's Alter Boy all over the album. And basically all that's doing is, I'm, I'm pitching it down an octave, and then I'm also adjusting the formant, which allows me to do some really creative stuff. So. Uh, oh, let's go back. If I bypass that, it's the same thing, and I can do... Have, have you guys used Alter Boy? Really cool plugin the Sound Toys makes, and I use this all the time. I can do all kinds of things with it. So, you know, and you can even pitch it up and then put the formant down and... So the point is you can do a lot of interesting things with vocals uh, with, with this tool, and I, I use it all the time. Um, what else? And then we have a delay chop here. I don't even know what this is. That's just taking one vocal, sending it to a reverb, pushing it out, and letting it sort of fade away. Uh, and then background vocals. A um, lot of automation on these. This is just volume automation here, because I didn't feel like manually going through and adjusting every syllable. This is just, you know, throw, throw the track into, uh, there's a group here, throw it into trim automation and, and just go through and listen and, you know, and draw the automation in and, and make sure it's all leveled out and it feels like a, a, a nice, um, smooth performance. Uh, a lot of the, the vocal effects are similar there. Uh, and then let's get to her hook. So, Initially, initially she only wanted to cut this vocal, the low octave, and I had to really push her to give me the, the high octave. I think she sounds great, but... And what's on that? We have a little auto-tune on it. We have, uh, I filtered out, the, the, taken out the, the bottom and the top of that vocal, and uh, I threw a doubler on it because Drew was really the lead, and then I wanted her to sort of wrap around him, she only gave me one vocal, so I just throw a doubler on it, and because it's a secondary vocal, it, it, it sits nicely. Um, and then, you know, these lows wrap around that. And then Drew has a bunch of background vocals here. I will quickly, I'll just play those as a group. Uh, I've done some individual things on all of them, some EQ, some compression, a little auto-tune, uh, this has a de on it, but at the end of the day, you get a background vocal so stack. So that's Drew. That's something where we did some, some pitching and whatnot. He actually sent me that as a stem. Then we have the low, which is just pitched. So baby, pull me closer in the vaccine of the road. And that's just got some doubler and some chorus effects on it. And if you listen to any one of those vocals individually, it's probably not the sexiest vocal you've ever heard. But collectively, you put it all together, and that's what we do. We, we, we use tricks and stuff to make records sound good, and so that's what that is. And then these last vocals down here is actually me singing. Um, when, I was in the, when we were mixing it, 
there was a layer that I just felt the vocal needed, which is a really high pitched layer. I'm not a great singer. I'm not trying to be a singer. I don't, it's not what I do. But uh, I felt like it needed the layer and we added it and it, it turned out pretty good. So I'll, I'll play you everything at once and then. See, it just adds that shine. It's just meant to be a high, like really airy vocal that just sits sort of on top and, and gives us like, you know, floaty sort of vibe. So anyways, that's the whole mix. And then... Did that happen at the end when you... That was while I was mixing the record. That okay. was while I was mixing the record. Uh, he wasn't even there. I just cut it. I gave him two options. Here's one with my vocals, one without. What do you like better? He liked the one with. And so we went with that.